It's time for another good idea, bad idea. Good idea. Jim. I will pray for you, my friend. I'm the worst Christian on the planet. I don't know if my prayers have any of that sweet Jesus mojo. But I heard you have the real cancer, not the internet cancer. And, uh, I will pray for you, buddy. And I would buy you a bunch of whiskey, but I feel like showing up at your house would be weird and gay. But Jim, if you ever want to get a real life drink before you fucking die from cancer and pharmaceutical companies, please let me know. I'd love to chat. You seem like a cool dude. Bad idea. Yo, is this person fucking retarded? They want me because I'm the hottest property in this sphere right now. No, 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 guys. Today is not make fun of the diabetics days. In fact, I would never really do that. Uh, diabetes is kind of a... Uh, it's, it kind of sucks. Uh, the only other thing that sucks even more uh, is, is cancer. It's, it's a bitch, um, right? So that being the case, me, and I think anybody else with... You know, especially people that go about LARPing about Christianity and their moral values. I don't think those people um, would go ahead and make fun of somebody that's going through cancer. It, it would be very wrong and not good optics, as they say. Unfortunately, we have somebody that takes exception with that rule, decides to bend it whenever uh, they see fit. Uh, and we're talking about uh, this round uh, chestnut over here uh, from Canada. Uh, he looks like an Ashton to me, but, uh, that's the thing. I, I mean, what should we call him? I can't help but get Joseph Smith vibes from this guy. Uh, you know, the dum 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 thing. And the reason why is because people in the Blood Sports community like to follow this guy and think that he actually has a leg to stand on. Dum 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 dum! I mean, I know we all like a good circus act and it's fun and it's entertaining, but there has to be a, a line that you draw, especially when you go around preaching that you're like this Christian that believes in moral values. And for the weebs out there, this is the same guy that's going around saying that if you like anime, you're a pedophile. Uh, let that sink in. Or at least he let that narrative go. Uh, and, and, you know, went ahead with it and pushed for it and shit. Then he went on Nick Ricada's stream, and not only did he change his demeanor on Nick Ricada and basically kiss the ring, but he also went ahead and he changed his lollicons can be redeemed and whatnot. Meanwhile, is you know... Behind the scenes, he's not really saying that. <laughs> but I don't know. It, it gets tricky. You know, it's the slippery slope. That's why I don't believe people from the blood sports community. You know, people that hate on other figures, like with the whole Ethan Ralph thing, right? Everybody wants to jump on the whole, let's hate Ethan Ralph for clout shit. And it's really fucking annoying at this point. You're making it so freaking easy. To, to build the defense for Ralph because it's like, it's the same redundant shit. You make up, oh, Ralph is dating a teenager. Guess what? He, he's not. He, he's dating an 18 year old. And then the story changes to Ralph manipulated this girl or whatever. Except he, he I don't, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Because you guys like to say Ralph is stupid, right? And you, you like to put him down and you, but, you know, how does a stupid person manipulate someone? By your logic, that doesn't that doesn't make sense. And that's why the blood sports community or, you know, those haters, those exceptional, exceptional people should never be taken seriously. And they should stay in the trash where they belong. You know, I even told John Michael Kellogg's at one point, why do you even waste your time with these people? Um, you know, you're the draw. Ralph is the draw. Without John Michael Kellogg's and without Ethan Ralph, uh, for that matter, these people are relevant. Uh, this one as well, in particular, because this uh, round chestnut cheese ball actually got popularity by being the guy that hates Ethan Ralph and the guy that points out all the immoralities of Ethan Ralph. Now, there's one thing besides this whole uh, Ashton looking Joseph Smith wannabe over here, round cheese ball, going around 
and doing all the shit mocking people that have cancer. Besides that, he did say one slanderous claim on top of all that. Like, if this isn't enough to let you know, like, if him labeling anime fans as pedophiles, him making fun of cancer victims, him condoning social security numbers of people he doesn't like being thrown out on the internet, if that's not enough to tell you that this guy is a piece of shit, I don't know what is. But let's look past all that for a second, and the only thing that I hate in this particular, uh, the whole smearing bullshit, right? Like, and the lack of respect, and this is something that the blood sports community, they are known for. Backstabbing each other when it's beneficial, and making shit up about another person they don't like, just for the fuck of it. For clout. For clout. Well, we're gonna look at one of the things that Ashton got wrong, just to highlight it, because I don't feel like going into much in regards to this individual. Uh, I just thought that the disloyalty and the smearing, uh, it, it needed to be called out because, I mean, it's his own words. We should call it out. Uh, and I should mention, this is probably going to be the only time uh, I address Ashton, uh, you know, Ashton Kutcher looking wannabe over here. <laughs> because, quite frankly, uh, it's kind of like a new rule of mine. I don't want to acknowledge the, the trash, right? I don't want to acknowledge the, the cockroaches. I think that's fair, uh, you know, Nick doesn't, like, let me give you an example. Nick doesn't acknowledge what he perceives to be trash. Why should I, right? Nick Ricada doesn't acknowledge me. Nick Ricada doesn't even acknowledge John Michael Kellogg's unless he can take a dig at him. Um, at, you know, but, you know, you get what I mean, right? So, why not? Why not just take this? Uh, you know, Nick has it right, man. There's so many things that Nick has right that I'm gonna start copying because it's fun. And it's, it's cool. And it works. So I'm gonna start doing, I had this all wrong, ladies and gentlemen. But <laughs> let me stop kissing the ring for a second. Haven't fully gotten there yet. Um, let me go ahead and, and point out a little bit. Let me see. To give you a rundown on who Ashton is, the potential diabetic, uh, this person is a Christian YouTuber. He preaches morality, integrity, he claims to believe in the moral objectivism of Jesus Christ because he believes in God and that we should all adhere to the same morality. He claims that there is no such thing as moral faking because that's a mindset that comes from the materialist atheists who reject all morality and cry when people remind them of the evil things that they or other people do. For lack of a better term, guys, he's some, his gimmick is this Christian dude that can do no wrong um, you don't adhere to his moral values, you're degenerate. That's his gimmick. Uh, so, uh, the problem with gimmicks here, and for me, you know, because I'm the fucking realest guy in the room, you know, I, I don't pretend to have these high standards of, of morality, right? I, I've gone on the record to say I don't like, I don't approve uh, of lollicons. I don't approve of the lollicon concept, but I'm not going to pretend to care and pretend like I'm going to go on this crusade to, to crucify you guys or something, right? Because at the end of the day, it, I don't fucking care. Now, on Twitter, Mr. Mediker, you might have heard of the name, kind of a legend, uh, kind of a legend in the blood sports community. He's a big deal. One of the OGs. Now, I'm not a fanboy. That's the thing. Uh, but I can recognize success. I can recognize where loyalty should be given. Because if it wasn't for Medicare, not many people would have come up. Not many people would have existed. Not, you know, this community probably would have diminished. It probably would have never been a thing. Uh, quite frankly, this community, this disgusting, vile, two-faced community owes a lot to Jim, right? Right? Like, the, the way that the clout chasers and the bottom feeders owe a lot to Ralph in their own right, right? Because without, let's be, let's be honest, nobody fucking would give a shit about these people if it wasn't for Ethan Ralph acknowledging them. <laughs> so, I mean, they should, like, instead of them pretending like they want Ralph to off himself, they should be grateful that this guy even takes the time to acknowledge them. Let's be fucking honest. Uh, this this uh, Christian lad over here is a perfect example. The only reason people even got behind him in the first place is because th he played the I hate Ethan Ralph gimmick. Whatever. He goes on Ricada Lost Stream, goes on telling these sob stories. Oh, boo hoo. Boo hoo. Ralph mean. Ralph did bad things to me. But 
you're mocking someone with cancer, bro. Back to obese Ashton Kutcher over here. Uh, he got called out by a fan of Medicare. Uh, shout out to the Sweetie Squad for taunting the ill. Obviously, that isn't very Christian or even socially acceptable. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's fucked up. It's really fucked up. And remember, guys, these are the guys. This is the guy. And, and these types of people uh, are the guys that are, are saying that the lollycons need to be, you know, <laughs> yeeted. Yeah, yeah. Because because they're they're morally above them, right? That's that's their thing. That's that's why that's why they want to off the uh, the weebs because they're morally above you, apparently. I don't know, man. This ain't looking too morally above to me. I'm just calling it out. I see it. <sighs> God. Ashton Kutcher then says calls it moral figging. And then rationalizes his actions by claiming that uh, Jim Medeker would do the same to others. Uh, but what happened? What happened to turning the other cheek? Huh? What happened, man? What happened? You make Christian Like, this is the problem I have, right? Some people use Christianity or religion as a way to make yourself appear morally superior to others. But you don't abide by those values. It's, it's again, that's why it's a fucking gimmick. That's why you can't take these people seriously. You can't take people like that seriously. You can't take that community seriously. You can't take them saying, Oh, Ethan Ralph did this seriously. Because nine times out of ten now, it can easily be disproven. Right? That's, that's the thing. How terrible is it? How terrible is it? But it's alright. Because you guys have me. I'm the realest guy in the room. And I know. I already know what my enemies are going to say about me. It's the same bullshit all over again. Oh, you thought you were going to get news from a, from, a, from a hot redhead. But it turned out to be a, a catfish. And they sent you lolly images. And you like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's... Yeah, that's a great story. But it's not accurate. Keep using it. Idiots. I gave you that handicap so you could keep using it. Because without it... It was getting very sad that you had nothing on me. You tried for an entire year, though. Keep trying. Uh, but I won't give you another handicap. That's all you get. You only get one from Sen. Anyway, that aside. <sighs> Let me debunk this claim and then we can wrap it up. Okay? The claim is that uh, Jim, a.k.a. Medeker, uh, yeeted Sargon's child, uh, apparently. Uh, you know, and, and of course, you know, oh, it's being hyperbolic, guys, it's okay. <sighs> this person goes on to expand that it, basically he caused Sargon's wife to have a miscarriage. Uh, now, uh, that doesn't seem very accurate, Chief. Do you, let's play the clip, actually. Of what, let's play the clip of what actually happened. And let me prove and solidify my point as to why you can't take these people seriously. To why I don't believe every, you know, oh my god, every claim on Ethan Ralph. To why I don't believe every claim on Augie. Or anybody from that comes out of this, these people's mouths is just BS and fake news. If Sargon's out there telling uh, Thunderfoot to shut the fuck up and he's tweeting out tell offensive jokes and V's begging people to make dead baby jokes, I guess he's okay with it? It'd be weird that he'd change his position now. Now, me personally, I haven't done it. Um, I don't really see a need to, but I'm not condemning anybody that does. That's been another tactic that I've seen over the last couple of weeks of uh, the skeptics trying to get me to disavow people that watch me. Like, if you guys say something obnoxious, I'm supposed to be like, I can't associate with that anymore. Welcome to the Blood Sports community, guys. The new CNN of the internet. They want me because I'm the hottest property in this sphere right now. Dum 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 dum.